Hi, I'm Tish. It's Tuesday, and we're gonna fuck, marry, and kill some superheroes. So we just recorded our podcast, our movies podcast, In the Movies with Tish and Juliana, with our friend Greg, who is a comic book expert, or the most expert we know. Um, He's pretty expert. He know, Yeah. He knows a lot. <laughs> he knows a lot. Yeah. Um, so that was super fun. And uh, the podcast was about Marvel, DC, comic book movies. Mm -hmm. um, so, unfortunately, he couldn't stay to do this video. Because it would have been fun to have a comic book person here. <laughs> but it's just us again. I I don't leave. She. <laughs> I wish we could say she lives here, but we don't live together. No, not yet. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to do alongside the podcast, which you can listen to, uh, and learn. Like, we learned so much about comic book stuff. It was so fun. I know so much more now. Yeah. Like, I feel like I could go into a conversation and I'd be like, oh, I know what you guys are talking yeah. about. That was an arc in DC. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we were like, we we know the movies. Yeah. And that's it. We haven't read the comics. But he's been reading comics his whole life. So he got to, like, fill us in on, like, stories related to the movies or in all these new characters that we're going to see and tell us about, like, some awesome female characters that we are now hoping we'll get yeah. movies because they sound amazing. I know. We didn't, I didn't even know they existed. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. It's really cool. So, anyway, we're excited <laughs> about comic books now. So we're going to play Fuck, Mary Kill with some superheroes. Woohoo! And I got this. Rockin' Avengers Cup. Guess who's not on it? Um, Hawkeye. <laughs> oh, <snap. laughs> Poor Hawkeye, he's always left out. Yeah. Um, so I've got our superheroes in here, so we can draw them out randomly and then decide who we want to fuck, marry, and kill. Gotcha. Um, I always get confused about fuck and marry, because if you marry someone, you're going to fuck them a lot. So I You also get their bank account. <laughs> yeah, but just <laughs> like to differentiate between who you want to fuck and who you want to marry, I think fuck is like one night, yeah. that's it, and marry is like who do you want to like be best friends with for the rest of your life, yeah. and then who do you want to not exist anymore? Good rules. Okay. Okay. Dun dun dun. I hope this little cup works. Okay. Okay. Spider-Man! <gasps> Spider-Man. <Okay. laughs> As I call him, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Spider-Man. You could do it with all of them. Aquaman, Spider-Man. I know. <laughs> Superman. Superman. There was Batman. a thing on um, Friends once. Yeah, I think that's where yeah. I still Phoebe have was called him. It's like, he's not Spider-Man. Captain Marvel! Yay, we just learned about her. Yeah, we learned I mean, lots about her. Yeah. She seems super awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a title passed down, not just... Mm -hmm. Which is super cool. Okay. Who's our third one? Storm from X-Men. Oh. oh. Okay. Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, and Storm. Storm. This is even harder than I thought it was going to be. Who do you want to... I feel like from what I know about Captain Marvel, she just seems really awesome. I kind of want to marry her. Okay. Probably fuck Storm and just kill Spider-Man because frankly I'm sick of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems fair. I definitely want to marry Captain Marvel. I mean, A, she's really, she's a smoking hot blonde. So <laughs> I, for some reason I'm all about that. Okay. Um, and they're going to make her a movie hero. Yeah. <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, I would also fuck Storm and kill Spider-Man, but mostly because like Storm could make me some snowy mountains to go snowboarding <laughs> Are you fuck her on a snowy mountain? Is yeah. what you're be like, I'll... and then snowboard away. Yeah, in the morning. <laughs> Perfect. It's <laughs> my game plan. Spider-Man's never been my favorite. <laughs> the Flash. Super. That was my speedy. That was my Flash impression. <laughs> I think he runs a little faster than that. Oh. This is one that Greg put on the list that I don't know. All right, Greg, who did you give this us? This is Martian Manhunter. Oh, didn't he talk he about Manhunter? He talked Man about Manhunter 
maybe oh yeah i think maybe this is who he's talking about sorry greg provided the list for this because he knows more characters but then i also added some because i didn't like the male to female ratio <laughs> yeah. so i added more ladies um yeah and this is the one that i had never heard of oh powers and abilities um, I know what he can do for He's us. a native to the Green Martian race. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and he has a wide or he has wide variety. He's a superhuman strength, durability, flight, regeneration, shape shifting, intangibility, invisibility, telepathy, telekinesis. What can't he do? Okay, so he's and uh... optic blasts. Many of his powers resemble those of Superman. <laughs> And Superman once said of him, he's the most powerful being on the face of the earth. Well, well, well. Martian Manhunter. Okay, third on the list is the Hulk. Ooh. Hulk smash. I kind of love Bruce Banner, especially like in these new movies, so I think I kind of want to marry him. Okay. Even if he turns into the Hulk sometimes, um, I'll do that calm down thing, the lullaby. Um, I think I'd want to hang out with him for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's so sweet. I have decided I'm marrying Martian Manhunter. Alright. He seems like he can do anything. That Plus they handy. mentioned immense size and um, shape-shifting ability. I don't know. He just sounds like he could be he could a be whatever time. you want him to be. Right? <laughs> and it'd be like, That's oh, true. I'm bored of this relationship. Of be someone else. Um, and then I'd probably, I don't know, fuck the Flash and kill the Hulk. <laughs> um, I think I might just fuck Martian Manhunter, because again, interesting powers, could be a fun night. Right? And I've no strong feelings about Flash, so I'll just kill him. Right. If I can catch him. <laughs> <laughs> if, he, <laughs> if he doesn't slip into another dimension. <laughs> can I go away to Earth? One, two? He's in... Two. Yeah, that's... No, two is Batman and... We already forget everything you told us, Craig. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Craig. Well, we know there are Earth 1 and 2, I just forget <laughs> which is in which. Yeah. Superman? <laughs> it's never gonna get old. Friends is right. I'm gonna tell you right now, if we're talking about uh, Henry Cavill as Superman, <laughs> gonna marry that. <laughs> and no one blames you, that was two. Black Widow! Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is gonna be a hard one, I can already <laughs> tell you that. Batgirl! Oh, cool! Well, now it's hard to choose. Well, as much as I love Henry Cavill, I don't really love Superman <laughs> as a character. Oh, I concur. Black Widow, I don't think she's marriage material, to be honest. <laughs> She just wouldn't be home for dinner that much, I'm thinking. <laughs> or, you know, maybe I could travel with her for work and that would be fun. <laughs> yeah, be like, okay, you go assassinate, I'll be here looking at the museum pieces. Yeah, oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Batgirl? I just kind of know her from that movie. But she seemed like really ambitious and like, I'm gonna make myself a superhero, which I admire that. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna have to kill Superman. Cause he doesn't really do anything for me. And fuck Black Widow, that'd probably be a good time, and marry Batgirl. I think I would marry Black Widow because she can't have children. Not that we like you would accidentally them. impregnate but her. But what otherwise? if she was accidentally like I don't know, what if Batgirl stepped out on me and like was impregnated by somebody and then we had to raise the kid together? You know you don't have to raise your cheating wife's <laughs> child with her. Yeah, I know, but divorce is... Especially when you know it's not yours. <laughs> divorce is so much work, you guys. What More if, work than a child? What if we don't have the money to split up? She's a bad girl. She can, like, steal it or something. She's got, Plus, like, like, sneaky powers. The fact that Black Widow wouldn't be home for dinner is almost appealing to me in a marriage. You'd have a fairly <laughs> open problem. marriage. Um, I don't know. I know I'd kill Superman. I could go either way on the Batgirl Black Widow. Sorry, Superman. He's not my You're not favorite. You're not so super to us. He's like, he's just not he's my He's never been interesting to me because he just seems very like wholesome and just always trying to do right? good. Yeah, like I want you to have a little bit more of a dark side. 
No. And like I said, Henry Cavill is the only thing I like about him. Well, yeah. If we're talking about Henry Cavill... I just want to marry him. Fuck and marry. <laughs> all the time. Fuck him all the time. <laughs> and marry... He's so handsome and like, ah, but also so cute when he smiles. Oh, it's I not even that. fair. It's not fair. It's not... Anyway. What you do to the ugh, human race... You make everyone else look ugly. Okay. Black Canary. We didn't talk about her much. I don't know much about her. She's in Arrow. Oh, do you know a little bit about her? She's in Arrow, and she <laughs> fights crime. Does she have, like, powers, or she's just a kick-ass woman? No, she, like, created very much, like, learned how to fight and, like, created mm -hmm. had some help she has like some technical stuff like like the canary screech that like you know, oh. stuff like that all right that's cool i okay. don't know if that's accurate to the comics that's just what i know from tv folks i got jean gray Ooh. from x-men come on all ladies all lady one i got wolverine <laughs> who is not a lady <laughs> remind me about jean gray Jean Grey is in the X-Men films. Yeah, and she does some she, weird red power. She has the telekinesis, um, um, is what she kind of, like, and she's, like, the nurse or a doctor or whatever, because she kind of... Oh, wait, she's Dr. Jean Grey, I remember Okay, that. Dr. Jean Grey, and then, yeah, and then she has the telekinesis powers and some sort of powers that are similar to, like, um, Professor X and that like he's uh, you know what I mean coming back to me now I and then she dies and becomes the phoenix she rises yes and then she can sense. do like crazy ass mega kill everything powers if she chose to cause then she like parts the sea and like <laughs> maybe not not so like most <laughs> <laughs> but it was like a lake but you know what I mean okay I think the easiest is to decide first who I would kill, mm -hmm. because fuck Mary, you know. Which mm -hmm. one don't I like and which ones do I like? Again, I feel like I'm just gonna kill the guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's very troubled. I don't know if I'd want to marry him. I like that my guy. <laughs> he also like lives forever, which I'd just be jealous of. Well, that's true. I don't want to be like old. Unless you can like give me the same thing that you got. Because <laughs> I genuinely want to live forever. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard. I'd probably fuck Wolverine. He seems like a good one night stand to me. Mm -hmm. I feel like he'd be very passionate. Yeah, like, you know, I don't know. I feel like he could make he's it gonna it. Fuck, he's an gonna excellent fuck you good. <laughs> lover. <laughs> Got weird. <laughs> um, as for Black Canary Jean, Jean Grey is just so powerful. I feel like... But like then I'm like, do I want to be married to someone that powerful? Maybe they're gonna be really narcissistic, and be like, I can part seas, mm. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Um, whereas like Black Canary is more like rough and tumble. But then her character is kind of annoying on the TV show, so I guess I'll marry Jean Grey and kill Black Canary in the end. That was a roundabout way to get there. <laughs> I think. She looks hot though in that. Black Canary seems cool. And she's not too powerful or crazy. Like, I think yeah. maybe I'll marry her. And I think maybe you're right about Wolverine. I think I'll fuck Wolverine and just kill Jean Grey. Fair enough. <laughs> Joker! Oh! Gamora! Yeah! She looks so different! I know. Cool. I mean, I only know her from the yeah. movies. I added her, that was like the last one I thought she of that last bad one. bad ass in that. Deadpool! Oh, this is like a pretty interesting, uh... Yeah. Wow! Oh um, wow. My instinct is I want to marry Deadpool because I want to hang out with him for the rest of my life because he's so much fun! Oh yeah. my god. He would probably get bored of me because I'm not like as witty as him, but I would be entertained. <laughs> That's what you I know. don't want to just fuck him. I want to marry him. <laughs> I don't think I want to fuck the Joker because he's. I feel like he would do some stuff I wouldn't be into. <laughs> so I'll fuck Gamora. She's cool. She's hot. She's super hot. 
I would also marry Deadpool because he's super fun and I feel like I am as witty as he is in my own head. Okay. <laughs> um, I would probably fuck the Joker because I have a weird thing for the bad boys and kill Gamora. <laughs> Thor! I feel like I already know my answer for this one. Harley Quinn. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> Harley Quinn <laughs> and Aquaman. <laughs> I feel like I know who's getting killed. I'm just pointing that out. Yeah, Aquaman. <laughs> we, uh, we don't know you well enough, frankly. And you talk to fish. It freaks me out. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna fuck him, would it be underwater? Like, what? If you married him, you'd probably have to, like, live underwater. I don't live. In underwater. I like water, but like not that much. Mm. I feel like no pineapple under the sea. Talking to the dolphins and talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna marry Harley Quinn because <laughs> I love her. I had no doubt. And fuck Thor and kill Aquaman. I'm gonna marry Thor and fuck Harley Quinn and kill Aquaman. Seems good. You fuck her and then I'll marry her. I'd be perfectly <laughs> happy to live in... Asgard. Asgard. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second too. <laughs> Captain America. Okay. A little goody two-shoes for my tastes, but... Enchantress! Ooh, I am excited to see her in Suicide Squad. So am I. Because just... she's like possessed by a witch and you know I like witches. I'm just gonna look up powers a little bit okay. here. Well, and yeah. Psylocke from X-Men. She's gonna be in the new X-Men movie. So Enchantress, powers and abilities. She's considered an anti-hero. Um, she's a sorceress. She appears to possess the ability to manipulate magical energy for any number of effects, from healing to teleportation, and can so and can directly affect any non-living objects with her magic. She can also walk through walls. Oh, handy! I love that magic is coming into these worlds. I know. Marvel and DC. Psylocke. Magic is fun. I'm guessing Psylocke is something psychic. <laughs> <laughs> or psychological. When everyone was talking about Psylocke because she makes an appearance in the trailer for the new X-Men, I genuinely was confused because I thought Psylocke was a Pokemon. <laughs> Psylocke first appeared in Marvel UK series Captain Britain. Because there is a Captain Britain that of makes course. me so happy. She's a mutant. Originally presented as a precog in the pages of Captain Britain and then as a telepath. Um, the character eventually had her mind placed in the body of Japanese female ninja known as Kwanan, Kwan gaining her martial arts skills and elements of her personality. I think I might actually marry Captain America, especially if it's Chris Evans as Captain America. <laughs> And also, it seems like he'd be a good guy to hang out with for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. He's nice. That sounds lame, but... Well, apparently in Civil War, it gets a little feisty. I like that. He's got edge. <laughs> He's got edge, guys. Also, that bod. I mean... Okay, so I'll marry Captain America. And I'll fuck Enchantress. As she appeals to me. And then kill Psylocke. One half of me says, you marry Captain America, because Chris Evans is a Patriots fan. <laughs> and we could is Steve sit... Steve Rogers a Patriots fan? He is in my mind. Okay. We could sit and watch football on Sundays. Okay, he takes Sundays off. It's America. Mm -hmm. um, but then the other half of me says, like, oh, he's so, like, goody two-shoes. Yeah, but this is the rest of your life. Not crazy Joker sex. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'd probably marry Captain America. I really like Chris Evans. Like, strong appeal for me. And then uh, I'd also fuck Enchantress. She just looks really hot in this. Yeah. Although, Psylocke looks way hotter in what I've seen for the movie than for Oh, that. yeah, Olivia. This is a terrible that. photo. I tried to get original comic pictures I know. for us. I'm just saying. She looks... But I already married 
Jean Grey, and she can do all the telekinesis shit for me. Okay. These are all in the same world. We're marrying and fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. everyone. <laughs> and killing a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Iron Man! Yay! Slash Tony Stark. Katana! Ooh, from Suicide Squad. Woohoo! Yeah, that's right. Good impression. <laughs> Thank you. And Wonder Woman! <gasps> I definitely want to marry Tony Stark. I love him. Actually, you know what? Marry. Tony Stark slash Iron Man. I'll fuck Katana, cause she looks interesting, and I'm sorry, Wonder Woman. You're dead. <laughs> I am marrying Tony Stark, cause that bank account thing I said, just putting it out Mary's there. bank account. No prenup. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd probably fuck Wonder Woman and kill Katana. And I mean, it's just cause I don't know her. Maybe I'll feel differently. <laughs> I don't really know you, so I'm gonna have to kill you. Maybe. <laughs> hey, well, my, I'm just saying, like, Wonder Woman's more like, I have a sense you can imagine sex with her better <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say I have a sense of like the character and stuff and like maybe I would feel different after the Suicide, Suicide, Squad. Squad, movie. Suicide Squad movie Suicide Squad movie you know where they kill people alright three left just will draw them anyway alright who's on our last Batman <laughs> Adam Green West. Lantern Greg's favorite yes Good. done Da, na, na. Scarlet Witch! Oh. Batman again, bank account. It's a the big thing for me. Rate. I always used to say Mary Rich. It does help. I don't know, Green Lantern. Apparently he's kind of like a, in the comics, Greg was saying he's more of like a... Closer uh, to like Deadpool kind of yeah. attitude. I was going to say like a lout. <laughs> a lout. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, he's always late, and he's... I don't think I could deal with that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're the I only like... one allowed to be late. Correct. <laughs> I'm being that's, honest. That's me too. I'm generally always like that person that's five, ten minutes late for everything. I'm working but If I'm actually better. on time and someone else is late, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and Scarlet Witch is so cool. Imagine like the shit... Oh. Can mess with your mind, but in a good way. Yeah, like you guys could be like, we don't have any money to go anywhere, but let's imagine a beach. Aww. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just saying. I think I want to marry Scarlet Witch. I think I want to marry oh. Scarlet Witch yeah. too. I'm probably gonna kill Batman. I don't know. Yeah. A night with Green Lantern seems like more fun. Although Christian Bale, eh, no Green Lantern. He doesn't do it for me. I'm going to kill Batman. Me too. Fuck Green Lantern. Woohoo! Marry Scarlet. Deal. I cannot I say agree. Green Lantern. <laughs> Green. I've been saying Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Green Lantern. <laughs> Green Lantern. <laughs> Lantern. Lantern. Hey, that's all of them. We fucked, married, and killed a lot of people today. Mm -hmm. The important thing is... Don't do drugs. Nothing's important. <laughs> it's uh, comic books. Uh, important thing is that you listen to our podcast with Greg, in general, but also <laughs> specifically the one we just did uh, with our friend Greg. We talked about Marvel and DC and what's coming up and what's happening, and he told us a lot about stuff we didn't know that was super fascinating, and it was fun. The guy knows his comic books. That's all I'm saying. He and his storylines yeah. and his characters. It was. It was yeah. it was really fun, and he had a lot of like good things to say. Not just like he knows a lot, but he had good thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, of course, we talked about like women in film and comics and stuff. And he had a lot Shocking. of good ideas of like who should be in movies and like yeah, cool characters. And he's just a super cool guy. Yeah. And um, it was a good podcast. And this was fun. Thanks for sitting on my couch with me again and doing weird stuff in front of a camera. I feel like it's gonna permanently have like people on the side of your Podcasts couch. Podcasts and videos. Yeah, that's, that's your seat now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you next Tuesday. <laughs>